And let's just go through, we're going to give the chemicals, the question would be give the chemical formula for every chemical name. Alright, nickel to sulfide. So if you're going backwards, it's kind of easier if you go, okay, nickel 2 plus, sulfite, SO3 2 minus, sulfite, SO4 would be sulfate. So they just go together nicely, Ni, SO3, because 2 plus and 2 minus. Okay, ferrous, chromate, ferrous, you have to remember O-U-S, that's the lower charge, that's what charge? Plus 2. Yeah, plus 2. Chromate, you have to remember CrO4, what charge? 2 minus. 2 minus, yeah. Chromates are always 2 minus, the two that we know. So yeah, these just go together, F-E-C-R-O-4. Next one, methane. Oh, that's an organic. Meth means how many carbons? One. One. How many bonds are there to carbon? Four. CH4. Uh, nitrogen dioxide, oh, there's no metal here. You see the di, or anything like that, tri, etc. This is indicating that uh, it's uh, molecular. So it's one nitrogen, two oxygens. No charge to balance here. Okay, calcium hydroxide. It's calcium is Ca2+. Plus. Hydroxide, OH minus one. So I have, need two OHs to balance this one, CaOH2. There's calcium hydroxide. On the bottom, we have cuprous. That's copper with what charge? Copper has what two charges? Two and? Two and one. Copper is in a series that's one and two, one and two, one and two. The only gold is one and three. The one, the twos and threes are copper, iron, and chromium. Okay, those are the twos and threes. Notice they're clumped together, and the ones and twos are clumped together on a periodic table. Okay, so cuprous is Cu plus one. Hydrogen phosphate, HPO4, what charge? Two minus, because phosphate is three minus, you add a hydrogen on there, it'll bump it down to two minus. So this is Cu2, Cu2, HPO4, just uh, one, Cu2, HPO4. Okay, next one, aluminum carbonate, aluminum is Al3 plus carbonate is CO3, what charge? 2 minus. So this is, I don't quite have a lot of room here, Al2CO3, uh, 3. Because I need to balance the 2 minus, so I need uh, 3 carbonates at minus 6 and 2 aluminums at plus 6 to balance the charge. Is that cool? No, not cool. Wait, you put... Did I miss it? Mix it up? A 2, oh, uh, on the O. If you carbonate, it's CO2 instead of CO3. Oh, it looks like that. Huh? If you CO3, not CO2. CO3. No, this is a 3. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes, yes. It should look more like a 3 is what you're saying. Yes, there we go. Yeah, it combined with the parentheses. Okay, nitrous acid. OUS tells you it's the one with less charge or less oxygens on the polyatomic. So that's nitrite. Nitrate would be NO3. So we just need an H plus on here. And it's HNO2. Uh, bromic acid. This is one of those halogen ones. We don't see the hydro, so we know it's polyatomic. So bromic, is that higher or lower oxygens? More or less oxygen? More, how many? I know it's minus. Three. Bromic, the highest is uh, perbromic acid. So that would be BrO4, but this is bromic, so it's three. Uh, with an H plus, that will form HBrO3, and that's probably not in the screen. HBrO3. Okay, hydrobromic acid, the hydro in front, that just tells you it's H and Br, 
and that's all there is. So if we have an H plus and a Br minus, they just go together to form HBr. So bromic acid and hydrobromic acid look a lot different. The next one, lead for oxide. So lead Pb uh, four plus oxide is what charge? Two minus. So this will be PbO two. It could also be called plumbic oxide. 